just as a little sidebar, watch this little clip, film clip coming up. You'll see a blue jay come in and take a peanut out of my hand. Did you get it? Yeah. The book I want to recommend today is really for uh, writers and artists of all kind. And it comes from uh, John Steinbeck, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1962, died in 1968. And when I've talked about this book to people, most of them have never heard of it, although they've heard of Grapes of Wrath, Tortilla Flat, Cannery Row of Mice and Men, a lot of Steinbeck's other works. They haven't heard of this one. It's a great one. It's called Journal of a Novel. And what this is about, this is a true, true um, nonfiction book. When Steinbeck was writing East of Eden, which became the James Dean movie, he was living in New York City. And to start each day, to sort of what he called a warm up, he would write a letter to his editor, Pat Kovicki of Viking Press, and he had a, uh, a loose leaf notebook, or maybe it was, a, it was an open, a two page notebook. And on the right hand side of the page, he wrote the book, East of Eden, and on the left side, he wrote these letters to Pat Kovicki. And each one was sort of reporting how the day had gone, what he was working on, what he was thinking about, what the next day was going to be. And uh, it's a real tremendous insight into the writer's mind and what's going on with him, what, what are the thoughts at the top of his mind. Like one of the things that I learned from, from him reading this book was he always quit at the end of the day while he knew what was going to come next, the next day. And he said that uh, to keep working when you're tired at the end of the day was in his phrase, the falsest kind of economy, which he meant that you would burn yourself out for the next day. And the other couple of things that were really interesting to me was, you know, when I write, I become kind of a hermit and I'm just sort of settled in into my own world. But Steinbeck and his wife Elaine were very social. They were out every night going to plays, going to dinners. And the other thing that was interesting to me, that's sort of opposite of my mentality, was he was very competitive with his contemporary writers, you know, in his mind. He was constantly thinking about, you know, what they were doing and how his level was was alongside of them. But uh, it's, it's a great thing. I sort of really appreciate this one because a lot of my early uh, years of trying to write was in the same area. Steinbeck's from Salinas, California. And so when you're living there, as I was, or in, in uh, Pacific Grove and in Carmel Valley, Steinbeck's presence was very, you really felt it. You know, people knew him, people talked about him, and they certainly were very proud of him. So John Steinbeck, Journal of a Novel, if you're a writer or an artist of any kind, it's a tremendous insight into how one man who was at the top of his game was working, you know, in real time.